All right, guys, welcome back to another Daily Drive episode. I'm Carson. And I'm Martin. And today we have a lot to uh, go over today. We got the new Ram coming out, another Toyota segment for you guys, as well as an electric segment, possibly a interior and exterior segment, and as well as a fun video at the end for you guys. Yep. We go around asking people what their favorite cars are. So stay tuned for that, and let's get right into it. So Ram just announced the new 2025 Ram 1500. Uh, in an article from Car and Driver, it says that it's gonna have a twin turbo hurricane three liter inline six. Uh, that engine is also in the TRX. So with this new Ram 1500, it's also keeping the 3.6 liter Penstar V6. It unfortunately loses the 5.7 liter V8. Um, me and Martin both agree that it looks way better than the older 1500. Yeah. Uh, the headlights that we'll show you in just a second on screen look way better. Um, you want to give your thoughts about the headlights yeah. and the grill? So on the new Ram 1500, I really like the grill and the headlights. They kind of look like the Ram 3500s. And on the older ones, I don't know. It looks weird the way it's blended in with the grill and has all that chrome. I'm just not a fan of it. Yeah, and it like during the day when you see the chrome and the lights together, it kind of looks like the whole thing should be lit up. Um, I actually saw one on the road not too long ago and it, I don't know, it just looks weird at night. And it just looks weird in general, the grill kind of like morphing with the headlights, so yeah. Uh, moving on to our next segment, uh, it's the Toyota segment. So Toyota has a recall. This is um, kind of old news, but still you should know this. On uh, November 3rd, Toyota recalled 1.8 million Toyota RAV4s from the years of 2013 to 2018. The recall was made because of a fire risk with the new or with the batteries. Um, you know, that's a serious issue with the battery set on fire because a lot of flammable components are in there. Um, so hopefully Toyota can get this figured out. Luckily, it's not on any of the new models. So these old models just have to be re-looked at, um, new engines or new batteries. We don't know if it's exactly the battery type or what is going on, but hopefully we'll get more news on that. All right, so Toyota just announced the new 2025 Camry and um, it's expected to drop next spring. The front wheel drive models of the Camry are gonna have a 2.5 liter inline four, and it's gonna have two electric motors making about 225 horsepower. And the all wheel drive models are gonna have three electric motors and they're gonna make about 232 horsepower. Right. So that new Camry uh, that got announced, if you guys remember from our last video, uh, we had the Camry leak in there. And if you guys have not checked that out, make sure you do. Uh, to me and Martin, it looks a lot more different um, it looks more sportier than the older Camry, not from the leak, but I think they did pretty spot on making both of them look, the leak looking like the actual one. So that's pretty exciting. It just, it looks t uh, way better in my opinion. Um, the Camrys have actually changed so much throughout the year. You had like the more round look and then with uh, last year's, the year uh, prior, they kind of look more sleek. And now this one, I feel like they're going for a more sporty look. We'll have those on screen for you guys. And yeah. So I think it's pretty sad that Toyota is getting rid of most of their V6s. Um, the only V6 engines they have right now are the Tacoma, the Tundra, and the Sequoia. And they're all twin turboed, which, I mean, doesn't really make as much power. That's just the regular V6s. Yeah. And unfortunately, like, I think starting after the new Camry, they're just completely wiping out the V6s, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, Martin had a good idea making it kind of like an IS. Like yeah. IS. So like, I feel like if they would have made it like the Lexus IS and put like a five liter V8 in there, I think it'd sell pretty good. I mean, it already has a pretty sporty look and yeah. Yeah, maybe with like the higher trim, they could do something like that. But yeah. um, since it's going to be a hybrid only, we don't know, you know, if that will happen. But... Yeah. And so far they haven't released anything about the TRD Pro trim. And who knows if it's even going to come. All right, so Toyota uh, is expected to release the Toyota Crown Signa, which is gonna be the SUV version of the Toyota Crown. Uh, it's gonna be around 45 to 55,000. It's gonna have the same 2.4 liter inline four hybrid that's in the new Toyota Camry. Uh, we both agree that it's overpriced. You can buy a Lexus NX that's fully loaded, so it has all the trim specs, the highest trim specs possible, for the, like, basically cheaper. Um, and Martin does not, we, we both don't like yeah, it really. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Um, I'm just not a fan of the looks. It kind of looks like an electric vehicle, which it isn't, it's a hybrid. And it kind of looks like the Hyundai Kona. Um, yeah, they look alike. I think it's kind of weird how Toyota made the sedan and then they're also making an SUV. 
with the same name, I feel like it would just be better to keep just the sedan only. Um, and then Martin has some stuff also to say about it. Yeah, I think um, I don't I don't know why uh, Toyota's making a bunch of SUVs. They already have the Highlander, the Grand Highlander, the Forerunner, the Corolla, and, and uh, the Sequoia. The Sequoia. And yeah. I don't know. I don't see the. Point. I exactly. I feel like they already have so much SUVs, and it just who knows what's this like what this will do you don't know if it's going to replace one or the other but yeah uh we both agree that it won't be I mean, it probably won't be as popular as the rest of them all right so toyota has another award coming at them the 2024 prius is motor trends car of the year the last time the prius was actually a car year was 2004 when it was actually released so this is a big step up for toyota and honestly a big step up for the prius the last year's priuses look so much more different compared to the new 2024 Prius. I like the direction that they're going with this. If they continue to do it, I feel like the Prius will become more of a popular car, not just like a meme car to make fun of. But hopefully we can see the Prius get faster. Um, it will probably go all electric soon, but yeah. All right, so moving on to our electric segment now. Rivian is has been partnered with Amazon since around, I think, 20... 21 and 2022 uh, with their delivery vans. Um, new news coming out is that Rivian is expected to broaden their usage of the new electric vans. So this means you could possibly see UPS, FedEx, um, any other delivery services with the new Rivian van. I think this is good for them because it will help a lot more companies and it will also help get their van out there and get them more popular than just staying with Amazon. Um, moving on, the Ferrari SF 90 XX is now street legal, which is very, very exciting. It has a 4.0 liter V8, pushing around 1,016 horsepower. And to put this into perspective, your average car only has around 180 to 200 horsepower. So that's almost 10 times more horsepower, which is insane. Uh, the zero to 60 is about 0.4 seconds faster than an SF90, and it has 30 more horsepower. So one pro about the SF90 XX is that it's all-wheel drive but a con is that it has very bad electric miles i think you can only get like up to 50 miles yeah and it's gonna be a hybrid only so you can take that how you want personally i think it probably would have been better to have just a gasoline but in today's world uh ferrari will probably be looked at different for that um i think it would be fun though to have like the gasoline model yeah. or no hybrid model just because when you think of like a supercar you think of you know, no electric motors and all that. But uh, I can kind of understand in today's world how or why they made it hybrid only. So, you know, maybe we're just thinking about it bad, but I don't know, we'll see. Yeah. And then moving on to the electric Remax Nevera. Um, it can actually, this is a little fun fact, it can go 171 miles per hour in reverse, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I don't know how safe that is to do. And wherever they did it, I'm, Pretty sure they might have done it on the salt flats. I'm not sure though, but that's crazy how you can drive 171 miles per hour backwards um, and keeping the wheels straight and not swerving everywhere. So that's a pretty cool um, record from Remac. All right, so moving on to our interior exterior segment, the Mustang, the 2024 Mustang GT California Special will be coming back. Um, it has a little bit of hints of blue, like electric blue. I think that this looks very nice and the blue, it has blue in the grill, blue on the wheels, blue in little side skirts. We'll put pictures up for you guys so you can see. I think this is very nice and it's nice to see another California Special Mustang. And in other news, the 2024 Maserati MC20 is going to be releasing a Note Grayscale, which this thing looks very nice. It kind of almost looks carbon in a way. Um, it has like a matte gray finish and I just think it looks very nice overall. I've always been a fan of Maserati's um, and this just looks very sleek and clean. All right guys, so now we're gonna move on to our uh, asking people what their favorite cars are segment. Now I got, what is your favorite car? A Porsche 911. All right. All right, who am I here with? What is your favorite car? Alright, what is your favorite car? Not a Hellcat. 
Roger or Challenger? Who are we here with? Elijah Jones. What is your favorite car? Uh, okay. Who are we here with today? And what is your favorite car? Alright. What is your favorite car? Alright All right, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Daily Drive. We hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know that was a lot to go over today, but I feel like this is um, important news for you guys, especially the Toyota recall. And we hope you guys enjoyed that last segment at the end. That's kind of like off the rip kind of thing. Um, our next video should be releasing December 13th. So hopefully we'll see you guys there and make sure to subscribe to JHS Creative Communications on YouTube. And this was filmed in Jordan High School. Thank you guys for watching.